Hi, welcome back to Listen to Riches. Today, I am going to explain to you the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Before we embark on this journey, let's explore some fascinating facts about the book itself. This book was originally published in 1937. The latest records from 2015 reveal that Think and Grow Rich has impressively sold over 100 million copies worldwide. The creation of this book holds a captivating story. Napoleon Hill, the author, embarked on a remarkable journey where he conducted interviews and meticulously studied the habits of more than 500 individuals who were among the wealthiest, many of whom had risen from poverty and possessed limited education and influence. This attempt spanned over two decades, during which Hill collected the wisdom distilled from these interactions into a comprehensive guidebook comprising 13 key principles. These principles detail how anyone can transform their mindset to become rich. Without further delay, let's begin. In this first chapter, Hill demonstrates the power of your thoughts and how it has the power to shape your life. It lays the groundwork for the entire book. A noteworthy strength of this work lies in Hill's utilization of real-life anecdotes to illustrate his teachings. To illustrate the impact of thought, let's explore a tale about a man named Darby. This man became an exceptionally successful insurance salesman. He shared a pivotal experience he encountered during the gold rush, a time of rapid economic expansion. Darby and his uncle struck gold after extensive labor. Initially promising, their efforts waned as they continued digging deeper into the earth. Despite their persistence, no more gold emerged. Eventually, they abandoned their endeavor, selling their equipment for a mere few hundred dollars before returning home. Here, the narrative takes an intriguing turn. The purchaser of their equipment, a junkman, sought the expertise of a mining engineer. Astonishingly, the engineer uncovered that the project's failure stemmed from the owner's lack of knowledge about fault lines. Even more surprising, calculations revealed that the gold lay just three feet away from where Darby and his uncle had ceased drilling. The junkman harnessed this insight and reaped millions in gold. This success arose from seeking expert guidance rather than giving up prematurely. This narrative's lessons are profound. Darby's decision to quit was rooted in a belief that no gold remained while the junkman's persistence led to success. Hill underscores that success favors those who possess a mindset aligned with success. One common cause of failure is the tendency to quit when faced with temporary setbacks. Additionally, humanity's vulnerability lies in an ingrained familiarity with the notion of impossible. Let us continue to dive into the 13 principles stated in the book. Principle 1. Desire, the starting point of all achievement. The journey towards success begins with a burning desire. Not mere hope or wish, but a fervent, powerful longing that stands above all else. This desire must be definite, unwavering, and fueled by persistence. Napoleon Hill, in his teachings, emphasizes that desire is the spark that ignites the path to riches. To illustrate, consider an ancient commander facing insurmountable odds. He commanded his men to burn their ships upon landing on the enemy's shores. This action eliminated the possibility of retreat and instilled an unbreakable determination to succeed. Success demands the willingness to eliminate all routes of retreat. A resolute state of mind, driven by a burning desire, is the fertile ground for achievement. Hill shares the tale of Edwin C. Barnes, who declared his intention to become an associate of Thomas Edison. Barnes did not merely seek a job. He burned all bridges and staked his future on achieving his goal. Similarly, historical figures like Columbus and Copernicus dared to dream and change the course of history. Marconi's dream gave birth to the radio. Dreams are the seeds of reality, and belief is the prerequisite for accomplishment. The author outlines six steps to transform desire into wealth. 1. Define the exact amount of money you desire. 2. Determine what you will give in exchange for that money. 3. Set a specific date to possess the money. 4. Develop a clear plan to attain your desire. 5. Summarize steps into a concise statement. 6. Read the statement aloud daily, while visualizing possession. Wishing alone won't bring riches. 
True success comes from a burning obsession, meticulous planning, and unwavering persistence. Craft a written statement outlining your goal as an act of commitment to your desire. Creative visualization, a method modern experts now call, enables you to see yourself as a success before it materializes. Just as athletes visualize victory, this technique empowers you to harness your future achievement. Furthermore, remember that every failure holds the potential for equivalent success. Focus on your successes, cultivate a friendship with your other you, an alter ego untouched by defeat. This ally shares your aspirations and drives you towards achievement. In the realm of accomplishment, desire is the beacon, persistence the navigator, and belief the engine that propels you to the shores of success. Let's dive into principle two, which revolves around faith and belief in achieving our desires through visualization. Faith acts as a powerful alchemist within the mind. When we blend faith with the vibrations of thought, our subconscious mind rapidly captures this fusion. It translates it into a spiritual equivalent and then transmits it to the universal intelligence. Look at some of the biggest companies globally. They all originated as mere thoughts within one or two individuals' minds. Fortunes are being made every day, and these fortunes all began as initial ideas. But remember, you'll only be ready to achieve your desires when you genuinely believe and have faith in your capability to attain them. Developing faith is key. Affirmations and visualizations of your desires play a crucial role. Faith is an immensely powerful positive emotion, alongside love and desire. These emotions allow us to access our subconscious mind, which in turn connects to universal intelligence. Hill refers to this practice throughout the book as Auto-suggestion Your thoughts shape you over time, becoming your very essence. Positive emotions and a burning desire lead to actions that align with your goals. Both poverty and riches are the outcomes of your thought patterns. Your thoughts act as magnets, attracting similar vibrations. Your thoughts shape your reality. The subconscious mind cannot differentiate between positive and negative thoughts. If you fill your mind with negativity and believe in your destined poverty, you're actually attracting such circumstances. Millions hold the belief that they're fated for failure due to some uncontrollable force. This negative belief, detected by the subconscious mind, manifests into real-life misfortunes. The seeds of your thoughts mixed with emotions create a magnetic force. These thoughts attract similar or related thoughts from the ether. Just like a seed planted in fertile soil grows and multiplies, thoughts saturated with emotion become seeds that expand endlessly. The core concept is that any idea, goal, or purpose can be implanted in your subconscious through repetition. Keep in mind that your subconscious mind doesn't distinguish between constructive and destructive thoughts. Therefore, be cautious about what you think, as these thoughts shape your reality. Through faith, belief, and the careful molding of your thoughts, you're in control of the seeds you plant in the garden of your mind. Principle 3. Auto-Suggestion Influencing the Subconscious Mind Auto-Suggestion, the art of influencing your subconscious mind, becomes the bridge between your thoughts and your actions. Your subconscious recognizes and responds to thoughts infused with emotion. It doesn't differentiate between positivity and negativity, absorbing whatever you feed it. If you're plagued by negative thoughts, your subconscious works to make those thoughts your reality. To overcome this, we must replace negativity with positivity using auto-suggestion. Auto-suggestion acts as a tool to steer our subconscious mind. It's accomplished through repeated self-suggestions, employing all five senses. To make these suggestions effective, emotion is the key ingredient. Here's how you can activate and guide your subconscious. 1. Find a quiet space, close your eyes, and verbalize the amount of money you want, the time frame, and what you'll offer in return. 2. Repeat this statement morning and night until you can vividly picture the money you aim to accumulate. 3. Place a written version of your statement where you'll see it daily. Read it before sleep and upon waking until memorized. Initially, these instructions may seem strange, and doubt is natural. But trust the process and persevere. Over time, skepticism gives way to belief. Your mind shifts toward devising ways to make money, 
and other distractions fade. Repetition forms thought patterns that impact the subconscious. This practice establishes thought habits to transmute your desire into its financial equivalent. Remember, reading this statement just once won't suffice. You must flood your subconscious with positive thoughts, consistently aimed at your desire. Negative thoughts should find no room to thrive. By repeating the statement regularly, the universe opens channels for your thoughts. You'll experience heightened insight, hunches, and inspiration guiding you toward your goal. Your success with auto-suggestion hinges on your ability to concentrate on a specific desire until it becomes an unyielding obsession. Repeatedly affirming your statement not only establishes thought habits, but aligns your mental energy with your aspiration. In conclusion, auto-suggestion is your compass to steer the ship of your subconscious mind. Through repetition, you cultivate an environment where positivity thrives and your desires materialize. This practice is not just about reading the statement. It's about fostering a continuous dialogue with your subconscious until your desires manifest. Principle 4. Specialized Knowledge, Transforming Knowledge into Wealth Accumulating wealth often stems from possessing specialized knowledge. However, knowledge alone isn't the magic wand for riches. It's when knowledge is structured into precise action plans and aimed at specific goals that it wields its power. Imagine knowledge as pieces of a puzzle. The pieces need to be organized, guided, and aimed at creating something remarkable. When it comes to wealth, knowledge's true potency surfaces when directed towards definite ends. Knowledge can be of two kinds, general or specialized. General knowledge, while useful, isn't the primary driver of wealth. For true wealth accumulation, specialized knowledge tailored to your chosen service or product is indispensable. In exchange for wealth, this specialized knowledge must be offered. Napoleon Hill offers a crucial insight. Identify the specific expertise required for your product or service. Then, strive to attain that knowledge. Don't simply rely on existing knowledge. Seek to expand it. This proactive approach is the cornerstone of this principle. In essence, the path to wealth is illuminated by specialized knowledge. But remember, this knowledge transforms into wealth only when meticulously channeled through precise strategies and fervent determination. So, embark on a journey to gather, refine, and apply the specialized knowledge needed to manifest your wealth-building aspirations. Principle 5. Imagination, the workshop of the mind. Imagination is the architect that gives form and action to your desires. It transforms impulses into tangible shapes and actions. To transform your desires into reality, you must infuse your specialized knowledge with the magic of imagination. Imagination comes in two forms, each with its role in shaping your journey. First, we have synthetic imagination. It's like arranging puzzle pieces into new and ingenious patterns. It helps you think creatively and innovatively. This form is crucial for accumulating wealth. Second, there's creative imagination. It's the source of those hunches and flashes of insight. It lets you connect with others' thoughts and understand their subconscious minds. Remarkable leaders often excel in this type of imagination. Think of imagination as a muscle. Just as exercise makes muscles stronger, using both types of imagination makes them more robust. Neglecting them weakens their power. For famed psychologist Carl Jung, the infinite intelligence was the collective unconscious. Modern psychologists might call it being in the zone or experiencing a flow state. While it might sound strange, thoughts hold tangible potential. If the universe is composed of matter and energy, thoughts are like energy packets. They send out vibrations throughout the brain and even into the universe. Concepts from quantum physics and theories like string theory paint a fascinating picture. They suggest that our consciousness might be connected to the universe and to each other in ways we're just beginning to grasp. Ideas are the seeds of fortunes. They spring from imagination. Your imagination crafts the path, and ideas are the starting points of your journey toward success. Principle 6. Organized Planning, Turning Desire into Action Countless individuals endure lives of hardship due to the absence of a well-constructed plan for wealth accumulation. 
It's through organized planning that our desires are sculpted into action. Imagine your plans taking shape in the workshop of your imagination. Yet, you should not embark on this journey alone. Join a mastermind group of like-minded individuals who share your aspirations. In this alliance, you must establish what you bring to the table, whether it's financial or otherwise. Regular meetings with your mastermind group are essential. Together, refine your plan until it's honed to perfection. Harmony among all members is paramount. Remember, quitting never leads to victory, and victory only eludes those who shy away from challenges. If one plan falters, replace it with another until you unearth the one that brings you closer to your desire. Persistence is the golden key. It separates those who want success only when it's easy from those who forge ahead regardless. Leaders and followers both play their roles. Don't belittle being a follower. Many great leaders began there. They evolved into leaders through intelligence and unwavering commitment. Learn from leaders. Gather knowledge under their guidance. When aspiring to leadership, 11 factors become crucial. 1. Unyielding courage a confidence magnet. 2. Self-control mastery over yourself is vital. 3. Fairness a keen sense of justice breeds respect. 4. Decisiveness hesitation erodes leadership. 5. Definite plans meticulous planning fuels success. 6. Going the extra mile exceed expectations. 7. A pleasant demeanor a positive personality earns respect. 8. Sympathy and understanding. 9. Attention to detail. 10. Willingness to take full responsibility. 11. Cooperation teamwork amplifies effectiveness. These leadership traits pave your path to becoming a leader in your field. For success's foundation, embrace these factors to sidestep the negative traits often tied to failure. Napoleon Hill also identifies 30 main reasons for failure, including lack of purpose, education, health, self-discipline, and succumbing to procrastination. A cautious approach, capital shortages, and egotism can also lead to downfall. In essence, organized planning encapsulates the art of constructing a comprehensive roadmap towards wealth. Collaborative effort, steadfastness, and adherence to essential leadership attributes propel you toward success, guarding you from pitfalls and leading you away from the pitfalls of failure. Principle 7. Decision, Defeating Procrastination Procrastination, the opposite of decision, is a common adversary we all must conquer. It's a hurdle that must be overcome for success to thrive. The path to triumph is paved with swift, definite decisions, and a gradual willingness to modify them. On the other hand, those who fail to amass wealth tend to be indecisive and easily swayed by others' opinions, especially from close friends and family. Many carry around feelings of inferiority, often due to ill-informed advice or mockery from well-intentioned yet uninformed sources. Caution is required when considering others' opinions. Your aspirations must be driven by your inner desire. Succumbing to external influences can extinguish your personal goals. When you possess a clear purpose fueled by unrelenting desire, your decision-making becomes swift and resolute. Your decisions align with your aspirations. Indecisiveness, however, is a habit that can creep in during youth and gain strength as you age. A definitive decision echoes the sentiment of freedom or death. Announce your intentions to the world, but before that, embody your commitment. Being steadfast in decisions requires courage. Excessive talkers often accomplish little. Shift your focus from talking to doing. The book recommends a shift, speak less, observe more, and listen more. It's a reminder that true progress stems from action, not words. In closing, if you're finding this content valuable, remember to show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. By doing so, you ensure you won't miss out on future videos packed with insightful content like this. Principle 8. Persistence the unwavering effort that brings results. Persistence stands as the force that bridges desire and willpower, the cornerstone of converting aspiration into financial gain. The union of ardent desire and tenacious willpower forms a potent combination. Regrettably, lack of persistence is widespread among many. 
It's akin to surrendering before even stepping onto the battlefield. However, for those who cultivate persistence, every setback hides a seed of equivalent opportunity. They understand failures are fleeting, and success is their ultimate destination. Persistence's strength is intrinsically linked to the intensity of one's desire. Weak desires yield feeble outcomes, just as a meager fire emits little heat. To fortify persistence, stoke the flames beneath your desires, igniting them with unwavering commitment. This practice counteracts the grip of poverty consciousness. Instead, focus on money consciousness, and fortune will naturally gravitate to your prepared mind. Persistence is a mental state, something that can be nurtured. Eight strategies can foster a tenacious mindset. 1. Have a clear purpose. 2. Cultivate strong desire. 3. Embrace self-reliance. 4. Develop definite plans. 5. Acquire accurate knowledge. 6. Engage in cooperation. 7. Harness willpower. 8. Build persistent habits. Habit, in particular, is the bedrock on which persistence is erected. It's the daily practice of these principles that forges your tenacity. The paralyzing fear of criticism is a foe of persistence. Fear of criticism can hold you back from seizing opportunities in business. Such fear often outweighs the desire for success. But ideas can breathe life when injected with immediate and definite plans of action, shattering the fear that confines them. To develop persistence, follow these four steps. 1. Establish a clear, fervent purpose. 2. Formulate a concrete plan of action. 3. Cultivate a resilient mindset, repelling negativity. 4. Forge supportive alliances with like-minded individuals. As you harness persistence, you will take the reins of your financial destiny, commanding a path that leads to success. Principle 9. The Potent Mastermind, a driving force for progress. If your goal is to reach your destination more swiftly, it's wise to seek out individuals who can serve as guiding lights, leading you towards your objectives. Through the collaboration of a mastermind group, a quicker realization of your desires becomes attainable. The might required for the accumulation and preservation of wealth hinges upon the synergy of organized knowledge and coordinated effort, involving two or more individuals working harmoniously. Whenever two minds unite, an invisible yet powerful force emerges a synergy akin to a third, collective mind. Napoleon Hill suggests the formation of a mastermind group, ideally consisting of 12 members or fewer, emphasizing that smaller groups are often more effective. Principle 10. The Enigma of Sexual Transmutation The Tenth Step Towards Abundance The tenth step on the path to prosperity delves into the intriguing concept of sexual transmutation. This principle recognizes that sexual desire, the most potent human longing, can be transformed and channeled into a catalyst for personal development. By redirecting this energy from its primal state into pursuits such as creativity, imagination, courage, willpower, and wealth accumulation, it becomes a source of incredible power. The term, transmute, implies converting one form of energy into another. Sexual energy, when shifted from its physical manifestation, can elevate an individual to genius-level creativity and achievement. However, harnessing this energy isn't sufficient on its own. It must first be transformed from a mere physical desire into a drive for art, literature, or wealth accumulation to attain the status of genius. Mind stimuli refer to influences that elevate your mental state to higher frequencies, igniting enthusiasm, creativity, and intense desires. The motivational potency of sexual energy surpasses other stimuli, enabling it to elevate the mind to elevated planes that might otherwise remain inaccessible. Other stimuli encompass love, an intense yearning for fame or power, the power of music, friendship, a mastermind alliance, shared experiences, self-suggestion, fear, and even substances like narcotics and alcohol. Unbridled, sexual energy can become detrimental, even destructive. However, when directed by emotions of love and romance, it transforms into a constructive force capable of breaking down the barriers between the finite human mind and the infinite intelligence of the universe. 
Principle 11. The Subconscious Mind, A Bridge of Connection The subconscious mind operates tirelessly, functioning around the clock. It forms a realm of awareness where every thought, whether positive or negative, enters through any of our five senses. These thoughts are categorized and stored as records, ready to be retrieved when needed. Imagine the subconscious as a bridge linking our finite human mind with the limitless intelligence of the universe. This intermediary plays a pivotal role, enabling us to tap into the vast forces of infinite intelligence as we wish. Visualize your subconscious mind as a gateway to this universal wisdom. While complete control over it might be elusive, you have the power to sow seeds of intention within it. These seeds will germinate and contribute to the realization of your desires and life's purpose. The subconscious mind responds particularly well to thoughts interwoven with emotions and feelings. Negative emotions often find their way into your thoughts naturally, while positive emotions must be consciously introduced, often through techniques like auto-suggestion. An essential aspect to remember is that positive and negative emotions can't coexist simultaneously within your mind either one dominates. It's your responsibility to ensure that positive emotions prevail. Among the significant positive emotions are desire, faith, love, sex, enthusiasm, romance, and hope. In contrast, the major negative emotions encompass fear, jealousy, hatred, revenge, greed, superstition, and anger. By consistently saturating your mind with positive emotions through practices like auto-suggestion, you naturally create a mental environment where negative emotions struggle to find a foothold. In summary, your subconscious mind serves as the bridge between your everyday mind and the universal wisdom. Nurture positive emotions within this realm to draw upon the forces of infinite intelligence. Your mind's landscape becomes an influential garden where the blossoming of your desires and dreams is encouraged. By tending to the positive, you can prune away the negative allowing your mind to flourish with an abundance of constructive and fulfilling thoughts. Principle 12. The Brain, a Nexus of Thoughts Consider the brain as a sophisticated broadcast station, a hub where thoughts converge and diverge. Every individual possesses a brain with innate broadcasting abilities, capable of receiving the waves of thought vibrations sent out by others. On one end, the creative imagination acts as the recipient, while on the other, our subconscious plays the role of the sender. To amplify these transmissions, we employ the technique of auto-suggestion, which functions as the means to propagate our messages into the universe. These thought vibrations are akin to the unseen but impactful forces encircling us, influencing our existence in ways beyond the visible spectrum. Much like the unseen force of gravity, the potency of our minds functions in a similar manner. We may not perceive it tangibly, yet its presence shapes our reality. It's a remarkable parallel just as gravity exerts its effect on the physical world, the power of our minds, our thoughts, molds the intangible fabric of our lives. In essence, your brain operates as a potent junction, channeling the frequencies of thoughts. Like an invisible tether connecting us all, these thought vibrations pervade our consciousness, affecting our perceptions, decisions, and ultimately, the course of our lives. Principle 13. The Sixth Sense, The Gateway to Wisdom's Temple At the pinnacle of this philosophy lies Principle 13, a culmination that becomes accessible only once you've mastered the preceding principles. It stands as the doorway through which you enter the realm of the extraordinary, the realm of infinite intelligence, a space devoid of the need for striving or imploring. This is the domain of the Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense occupies a unique niche within your mind, serving as a conduit for insights and direction toward your desires. This connection materializes as flashes of intuition and flashes of inspiration, commonly known as hunches. To fully grasp the essence of the sixth sense, one delves into meditation and internal growth, as this sense thrives on your mental cultivation. The sixth sense stands as a sentinel, alerting you to impending perils that you should steer clear of. Moreover, it acts as an oracle, granting you early glimpses into forthcoming opportunities that await your embrace. Think of it as your personal guardian angel, stationed within to unveil the temple of wisdom. This temple, open to you at all junctures, 
becomes a sanctuary of discernment, a haven of sagacity. It is here that you can draw from boundless insights, charting your course with newfound clarity and wisdom. Here are all the 13 principles explained in the book. Before you are ready to integrate the philosophy laid out in this book, Hill states that you must ensure that you aren't being held back by any of what he refers to as the six basic fears. The six fears are as follows. 1. The fear of poverty, embodied by indifference, indecision, doubt, worry, overcaution, and procrastination. 2. The fear of criticism, embodied by self-consciousness, lack of poise, and inferiority complex, extravagance, lack of initiative, and lack of ambition. 3. The fear of ill health, embodied by hypochondria, poor exercise, susceptibility, self-coddling, and intemperance. 4. The fear of the loss of someone's love, embodied by jealousy, fault-finding, and gambling. 5. The fear of old age, embodied by slowing down and developing an inferiority complex around the age of 40, referring to oneself apologetically as being old, and killing off the habits of initiative, imagination, and self-reliance. 6. The fear of death, embodied by focusing on dying rather than living, lack of purpose, and lack of suitable occupation. Hill states that all fears can be grouped into one of these headings. As all emotionalized thoughts translate into physical action, all thoughts attached to fear can never result in acts of significant financial gain. However, fear is nothing but a state of mind, and the mind can be directed. Therefore, you can control your fate by controlling your mind and, thus, overcome fear and accumulate all of your desired riches. Thank you for joining me for this review and summary of the book. If you want to listen to more audiobooks, please do not forget to click on like and subscribe to my channel. And if you have other books you'd like to talk about, feel free to tell me in the comments below. See you in my next audiobook.